it's Janelle and welcome to my channel. Today I need to set up my weekly spread in my Hobonichi Cousin for next week, April 15th. There's a lot of noise around me right now. I hope that none of it you're able to hear on camera. I do have my drink of choice with me today. This is my newest obsession. This is some brewed green tea with Torani sugar-free vanilla. And I know that sounds very weird. This is my mom's drink. She always orders this when she goes to Dutch Brothers. And I was like, that sounds weird. Like vanilla in tea. And she's like, you have to try it. So we went to Dutch Brothers the other day and we ordered one. It was so good. So the past few days I've been making this at home. So you brew the tea, put the vanilla in there, and then you just fill up the rest with ice and water to dilute it a little bit. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. So I do have my drink here. Let's get to planning. So next week I am going to use this washi tape. This is an Erin Condren washi and the Erin Condren launch is on Monday the 15th. I don't think I'm gonna be ordering anything at least not on Monday. I am debating ordering something, but I'm gonna force myself to wait until closer to July because the planners don't start until July anyway. There's no use in rushing trying to order anything right now. Okay, so now I need a highlighter to shade my bottom boxes. Every week I make these three boxes at the bottom to track my reading, workouts, and dinners. So I'm kind of thinking I want to do yellow and bring out the yellow of this washi. It's kind of bothering me a little bit with this. I should have done this side first and then continued it on so that the color pattern would continue, but you know... It'll be fine. So I'm gonna use yellow as my shading color. Okay, there we have it. So now I need to put down my icons. I love doing colorful spreads because then you can just pretty much pick any color of highlighter, any color of pen, any color of sticker that you're using and it all matches and goes. And plus I just think the bright colors are so fun to look at. So I have those marked. What else do I need to do now? What's going on next week? I don't even know. So let's take a look at the monthly. Oh good, 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 good. Okay. So on the 16th at 8 a.m. we have, let's get out some labels because I do have some things going on that would be good to put on a label. I think I put them in this book. Let's use these guys for my labels. Well, actually those are a little too big. I can use one of them for, let's use the green. My son has his recital in the morning on Thursday. So I'll use that one for that. And I need a smaller one. Let's use this little guy. He's green as well. Got two greens going on. And then let's put down my trash. Trash days. Monday and Thursday are my trash days. Let's write in my labels now. So these are, well, this one is a vinyl label. I always use ballpoint on vinyl stickers and that usually always works out very good for me so 9 a.m on the 18th okay so i just wrote in 9 a.m spring recital and this is just where my son's school they put on like a little like choir where they all sing and everything really really cute we uh, went to it last year. Yeah, so that's next week and my nail. It is on my list today to redo my nails, just so you know. This one broke. It's hanging on by a thread. Anyway, uh, Tuesday, 8 a.m. We are having a new internet provider installed. So they're gonna come to the house. Then baseball, practice, game, game. All right, let's put those in. 
I am kind of suspecting he is going to cancel practice, but I don't know. So I'm going to put it on one of these stickers and then we can just take it off if he does cancel. Practice. And I have two game stickers left. Let's just use them. Let's use them up. So Saturday is at five and Thursday is at six. I'll put it down kind of more towards the bottom of the page and Thursday at six. I used up a whole sheet of stickers. I saved this. Sometimes I save these. I might save that. Practice, I don't know the time yet. Thursday, six o'clock and five o'clock on Saturday. That's a horrible time, Saturday at five o'clock. Normally they're morning games. Okay, those are all the main things going on. Now let's put in my other small things that I like. So Thursdays, I like to, oh my gosh, let's put one of these. I bought these so, so long ago from a shop that I now would not recommend. I used to love this shop. And then the last time I ordered from this shop, um, months and months went by and I never received my order. I tried reaching out on Instagram. I tried emailing all these things and I was just ignored and I ended up having to do a, uh, what's it called? A dispute with my bank to get my money back because I placed like a $50 order with her. And yeah, so <laughs> that was fun. But anyway, I got these stickers, these stickers long ago to represent my two sons and it's just perfect because this one totally represents my younger son and this one is more my older son and it's just I always thought that these stickers would represent them so let's use one of these since this recital is for Zach oh I could yeah let's cover there we go perfect and then I want to put in my planning reminder. Since it's a colorful week, let's use the, like one of these that has this pattern on it. Colorful week, anything goes really. So I always like to do a reminder for my planning and then I do meal plan and I make my grocery list and everything with that. That way I'm ready to go shopping on the weekend and then plan next week. Okay. So I have that reminder in. Is there anything else I like to put in? Not really. Yeah, so my weekend plans for this weekend changed, which is exactly why I wanted to put this on a sticky note. I'm now gonna just go to Vegas for the day on Saturday and I'm gonna skip the UFC thing altogether because I just don't wanna deal with it. So, <laughs> oh, so anyway, um, I can throw this away now since I know what is going on. I live like an hour and a half away from Vegas. That's usually where we go to do things for the day and whatnot. So I had plans. I was gonna stay the night Friday night. Now I'm just gonna drive up early in the morning on Saturday and that will be that. So as you can tell, I feel like I'm still in my planner funk. I was in a funk this week, barely wrote in it. I'm still not really feeling it that much for this week either. I've still been filling in this lower section. I've been filling in a few things, but for the most part, I'm just kind of not really into it this week. As long as I'm writing in like the main information that I need to have and like to have, all the extra like decor and fun things, like I'm super into it this week. There's a lot of weeks where I like to just like fill in white space and decorate it like crazy and put every little thing in and the past couple weeks I just want to put the main things that I need to know I fill in the tracking stuff that I like to have and that's where I've been leaving it and that's fine I'm fine with that the solar eclipse was on Monday we only got it at 55 percent where I live so it really didn't even seem like anything was going on <laughs> The sky looked a little weird. I didn't have any glasses to be able to even look at it. 
and the sky looked a little hazy but like other than that you would have never even really known anything was going on so it wasn't that big of a deal for us here where i live but yeah i did write that in just because it was such a big deal to everybody else and i got this week set up with the main things see even in the back in the daily pages I have just been pen and paper I did a little bit there but I've been mainly doing pen and paper in April barely filling it out just yeah I don't want to feel like I have to decorate every single page in here. I really just want to note what's going on in my life or what I'm feeling or what, you know. I don't want to feel like every single page in the back has to be this big decorated spread. Some people do that and I truly admire them. I wish I could do that. I had a lot of pictures to put in in March and I had a lot of fun making these spreads. But now I'm just in a mode where I just kind of want to write a little bit of what happened for the day and then that's all I really need to put. So that's what I've been doing recently. And I'll probably get back into more of a decorating mode. I think it really just ebbs and flows, ups and downs with how much we're like into our planners. I'm really trying hard to stick into the cousin, stay with it, wanna try to keep it all year. So if I'm gonna stay in a planner for an entire year, it's inevitably gonna have ups and downs of where I'm way more into it and kind of not really into it that much. But as long as I stick it out, then I will be happy. Anyway, I have all the main things down for my week and I'll fill things in as I go. And that's really it for the Hobonichi Cousin. Let's take a look at my mini happy planner. Okay, so I changed out my cover here. Everything else is still the same, but I just changed the cover out because I ordered from Print Pressions a while ago, and this is one of the other covers that I ordered from Print Pressions. And I ordered this one, it's a TN cover, and it has the string around the outside rather than the snap. So I really love this so much more because the snap doesn't really get in the way. So for now, I am using this white cover with the TN string closure, whatever you call it. But my planner is the exact same, nothing's changed in there. Let's see. I still haven't put in my vacation time, oh my gosh. I need to do that soon. I did do my meal plan, plan next week, laundry. I still need to do those things. I need to pay my bills today. I need to do my nails. Um, I need to drop Pango order. Um, I sell my books on Pango. It's an app where people can buy and sell books. And that's where I buy all of my books from, is off of Pango. And then when I'm finished reading them, I sell them on there. And then that way I make a little bit of money and then I can buy more books. So it's just kind of like a cycle. And the money just stays in the Pango account. I think you can cash it out if you want to, but I don't, I just leave it in there and then I can just buy more books. And so, I love Pango so much. But anyway, someone bought one of my books yesterday, so I need to go drop it off at the post office. And my passion planner that I ordered is out for delivery. It should be coming today. I'm so excited to get that and set that up. Yeah, that's a look at my mini for today. There's nothing really going on in the back. I got my meal plan going. But yeah, that's it really. So that's all I really needed to do in my minis. Just take a look at a few to-dos and add a couple to-dos in here. But that's it. I want to show you my new little cover that I put on here. And that is everything for today. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.